Now, to take us into 1986, here's the New Year Show. And as sure as night and day, we have a drum together, and they call it hot many, hot many, hot many. Come on and join us. We're all together bringing in a brand new year. Hot many, hot many. Come on and join us. Oh, we're having such a happy hot many. Greetings. He fought his way through. Greetings, Chinas! Welcome, welcome, welcome to a special live Hogmanay show, which is coming to you tonight from Glasgow. To our friends south of the border, we say welcome to civilization. We've got a marvelous show tonight. And believe you me, here in Glasgow, tonight's program is live. The audience is canned, but the program <laughs> is live. They are what we call a Shell and BP audience. They're well oiled. Are you, are you all in a good mood here this evening? Yeah. Of course, they're all happy because they're in for free. <laughs> Nobody's told them it cost them ten pounds to get out again. <laughs> Actually, I've got some famous faces in the audience. Across here, we've got Dolly Parton. Oh, sorry, it's two bold men. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have got a programme and a half for you this evening. You know this place today? It's been like a madhouse. It has. Oh, wait a minute. It's the one and only Mr. Russ Abbott. <laughs>
curtain's answer to John Travolta, Ross Abbott. And of course, of course, that was a track from Russ's last album. At least we all hope it's his last album. And that'll be released at the same time as Rudolf Hess. Now, oh, that's wicked. I got a nice audience here tonight. Behave yourself, or we'll bring on Sydney Devine early. Right. <laughs> It's all good stuff here, all good stuff. Yeah, it's all lovely setting here, isn't it? Isn't this a lovely setting? Oh, it's, oh, it's 30 pounds well spent, it definitely is. Right. Now I'm going to introduce you to a young man who's in a marvellous 1985. This is absolutely sincere. He's just returned from a major tour of the USA, the other side of Aberdeen. And I must confess, this man really is one of Scotland's most versatile entertainers. In fact, he's the only man I know that can play Amazing Grace in the breathalyzer. So, will you please put your hands together to welcome our own Mr. Alan Stewart! <laughs> hey! Hello! What a fabulous audience. Every one of you is sober as well. Actually, looking around, seeing everybody so you've tasted this, the STV wine, haven't you? That's why you so. What's your name, sir? Michael. Michael, you did, you did that without moving your lips, so that was great. What's your first name? Michael. Michael. Okay, Michael, Michael. <laughs> Is this your wife? Yes. She's up. Do you mind if I have a kiss? Okay. <laughs> I feel silly. I feel great, actually. I've had my hair done today. Look good, yeah? Yeah? I had three guys doing my hair today. Well, one to do the hair and two to say, that's fabulous. <laughs> Is there any Germans in? I've got a story for all the Germans here tonight. This is a story about Mr. and Mrs. Noah. And they're in the air. And Mrs. Noah said, when all them animals get together, there's going to be a bit of hanky-panky. He said, you're dead right there. So he said, all the men animals, go to the cloakroom and hang your tingies on a hook. So they did that. And after 40 days and 40 nights, the animals were leaving the air. And the monkey turns to his girlfriend, he said, hey, you're going to have a great night tonight. She says, how's that? He says, I've got the elephant's cloakroom ticket. Made <laughs> 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 a bloody pattern, haven't they? Made <laughs> 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 get a letter this morning from my mother. <laughs> a bloody packing impression, isn't it? Made <laughs> a, re- a letter from my mother, she said, dear Frank, your father come home drunk last night, took off all his clothes and stood in front of the bedroom window, stacker. I said, come back from the window at once, or the neighbours will think I only manage you for your money. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't applaud. No, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come here, there's more. Yeah. I was standing at the bus stop this morning and it was very, very cold, yeah. And there was this wee darky standing next to me. I said, wee darky, come here. I said, my feet's like ice. He said, my feet's like chalk ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. I've got some more. Because you thought tonight you were coming here for a nice, quiet, sober night out, but you're wrong because tonight, Michael, Michael, this is your life. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit of a surprise for you, isn't it? You'd probably have got dressed up if you'd known about it, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, Michael, you were born in a manger in a little town of Bethlehem. Oh, sorry, that was last week. You were born in a little town in Scotland where your father used to ship bulls from one town to another. In fact, he was the biggest bull shipper in the country. Forget it. And we've flown your mother all the way from America. Here she is. <laughs> That's right. Tell me, do you recognize this voice? That's right. <laughs> it's the floor manager telling me it's time up, so it's good night from me, and it's good luck from me. Happy New Year. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Right. 
Now, this is a very important time for us up here in uh, Bonnie Scotland, a time we take very seriously, don't we? Hogmanay, especially coming up to that very, very important part of it, the bells. And we're going to go out of the old year with one of Scotland's bonniest lasses. And I must say, we're absolutely delighted to see her right back on top where she belongs. With old Lang Syne, ladies and gentlemen, Lena Zavaroni. One more time, 
tradition up here is the first foot tradition. You know that here in Scotland, it's supposed to be a tall, dark stranger. No in my luck, it'll be Rusty Lee. So I wonder, I wonder, just wait, hold on, hold on a minute. What a first, oh, I don't believe it. Jimmy. Hey, see you, Jack. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See, see, Sonny. Oh, you're difficult to do this, and I'm here to stop someone to put the kind of juice on. Ah, she was not a stretch. I couldn't get a jelly piece. I wanted to get the game. But I said, "See, you're dribbling ticks." I went, "Oh, oh, oh, oh!" I didn't see the game. What a great game! Soon as, soon as we're dribbling the ball, dribbling the game, dribbling the ball, dribbling the ball, dribbling the ball. I said, "No, please, dribble the ball." I said, "Shoot, I'm a shoot." Have you missed? Hey, do you hear the result? Uh, Dumb button two, Dick Burton three. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Look, you are my first foot. Ah, uh, this is my second foot. Uh, <laughs> now look, come on. Not only is it the first foot tradition, the first foot is supposed to bring in a gift. What have you got for me? Oh, uh, Jack, see, hold the bag, hold the bag. Right. See what I've got here. See what I've got here. See what have you got for see me? That? You see that? What's that? Shortbread. Uh, <laughs> oh, what else have you got? <laughs> come on, what about that? What's that? That's black bun. Oh, dear. have you got ginger nuts? <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking. <laughs> I just want to have a little bit of This is a whole bag of chocolate. Oh, this the real thing. Oh, the other thing. I'll listen to this. 300 percent proof. Genuine, this guy. I'm just going to. Just have a little slipper for you. I'll just. I'll just try it for you. Oh. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> right. Oh, McCoy. The That's real you, McCoy. Huh? Now, come on, you're supposed at this time of the year, Jimmy McJimmy, you're supposed to make resolutions. What resolutions have you made? Well, see this, son. I'm never, 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 Gonna shove my granny off a bus. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Never Never song from Jimmy. Shove your granny off a bus. No, you can't. As we move on to Scotland's own singing superstar, he's shortly to star in his own television series, Name That Tune. Will you, will, will, will you please welcome Sydney Devine? <laughs> The marble statuettes are standing stately in the hall. Will the timely crown that has you laughing loud help you dry your tears? When the new wears off of your crystal chandeliers. Yeah. Never did fit in too well with the folks you knew. And it's plain to see that the likes of me don't fit with you. So you traded me for the gaiety of the well-to-do hey! And you turned away from the love I offered you Everybody sing the song Oh, the crystal chandeliers light up the paintings on your wall The marble statuettes are standing stately in the hall Well, the timely crowd that has you laughing loud 
help you dry your tears when the new wears off of your crystal chandeliers. And I see your picture in the news most every day. You're the chosen girl of the social world, or so the stories say. But a paper smile can only last a while, then it fades away. Someday, here we go again. Oh, the crystal chandeliers light up the paintings on your wall, and the marble statuettes are standing stiffly in the hall. Well, the time will come that has you laughing loud, help you dry your tears when the new wears off of your crystal chandelier. We are smashing the price barrier as prices crash by up to 60% in Allied's price breaker sale. It's on now and open New Year's Day. In the land of the mad, money is just pieces of paper. How they love to watch it burn. Over 200 pounds a second, 19 million a day, 7 billion a year disappears in wasted money, wasted energy. Fuel bills blow the fuel bills. Even in the land of the mad, you'd think the businessman would know better. But no, they love to squander energy and throw away profits. Because it's nobody's job to stop it. Still, the land of the mad is just a made-up place in a television commercial. Isn't it? Isn't it? Energy efficiency year is on. Get more for your money. More out of energy. More for your money. Phone free for a free information pack. Everything is reduced in the great Comet January sale. It's now on and we're open New Year's Day. So don't miss it. Mr. Rush doesn't know it yet, but he's about to discover the Pronto Bag. It's Sketchly's easy new takeaway valet service. Just take it home, fill it with everything from suits to shoes. Insert the list, draw the tassel, and Pronto, no hassle. Simply drop the Pronto Bag on your nearest Sketchly counter, no more queuing, and with most credit cards you can collect it Pronto too. Oh, the Pronto Bag at Sketchly. Sketchly! Bag an easier way of life. In a German road test, one car beat the Mercedes 190. In America, the coupe version beat the Porsche 944. Yet it's in the same price range as, say, a Cavalier or a Montiglia. The 626. You'll be amazed that a Mazda.
down to this. Hey, I'll tell you what, I've heard the first big news of the year so far. As a seasonal gesture, Margaret Thatcher's going to have a street party for the unemployed. She's booked the M6. <laughs> I'll tell you what, actually, you know, all these first boot, no, this is... Oh, oh no! Andy oh, Cameron! Hi. Hey, how are you? Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Andy! Jack, I brought a bottle. Oh, thanks! It's not any good for the night, but it'll do you a right turn in the morning, especially when your mouth feels like a gorilla's oxter, you know okay. what I mean? Andy Cameron! Thank you, Jack. Good evening, how are you? Good morning, I should say. Oh, what an atmosphere there is here. This is the first time I've worked in MFI. So that is. <laughs> what a set this is. Lohenge, why don't you touch me? Touch me, on you go. Touch me. Who's been to the hairdressers, eh? And it was shut. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing, all right? That's a lovely hairdo you've got. Never wear a black jumper, you look like a pint of Guinness. But I <laughs> It's nice to see people enjoying themselves. Because 85 was a terrible year, wasn't it? Mind you, there were some good things about it. Bob Geldof and Lydie, that was marvellous, wasn't it? Oh, that was terrible. I was a bit annoyed myself, mind you, when I saw them. 100,000 jumping up and down in the Wembley Turf. And everybody praised them. We did it in 1979 and we get barred. <laughs> and not only that, we had to take our own goalpost down. That Bob Gelder, what a man about town he is, eh? What a snappy dresser, eh? He doesn't get his suits over the peg. <laughs> he gets some old fuzzle gummage. What's... No, he does. Another man of the year, Terry Wogan, did you see him? He was on the telly mirror opening the news, wasn't he? Oh, but he's marvellous, Terry. Have you noticed in the past year, his hairline's gone down a wee bit? You know the shed? He'll be coming if you under his oxter next year. Very well. I saw him in London last month, so I did. And he's, he's got it all set up and it was windy. He looked like a pedal bin. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that about Terry Wogan? He all touch his knee on his show, but nobody notices that he touches his guests. Have you noticed that? Depending on what their name is. He had Jimmy Nail, the actor, so he touched his nail. He interviewed Michael Foote, so he touched his foot. <laughs> See the night box car while he was on? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. What a night that one. Yeah. Oh, my man of the year was Sandy Lyle, wasn't he marvellous? Big Sandy, yeah. What a golfer. I played with him, you know. I played with him at Hags Castle in the Pro Am for the Glasgow Open. Oh, I'll tell you. What a day that was. 2,000 people round the, the team. I said, I'm not kidding you, I was shaking. So I, was, I stood there, Sandy Lyle put the ball down, and he hit it further than I go on holiday. I'm not kidding. <laughs> And a wee Glasgow guy shouted out, gone Andy, get it by his. I said, I'll need to put it into a taxi to get it by his. <laughs> so I said to Sandy Lyle, no, whatever you do, watch my boss, Andy. I said, I'm a bit nervous. He said, down you go, wee man. You know, he talks like that. So I put the boy down, lined it up. I remembered everything Stephen Bree told me. I just sat there and I went, oh. I said, can you see it, Sandy? He said, I can reach it. There it's there. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. Whatever you're doing, be behave yourselves now. We don't want you drinking and driving, OK? Cos I'm walking. <laughs> Have a 1986. It's better than any other year you've ever had. Good night. God bless you. <laughs>viewers in the south enjoyed that especially those with oracle on their television sets right now a very serious part of the evening ladies and gentlemen i want to introduce you to a young man who's one of scotland's favorite singers now this is absolutely most sincere we booked him for this show because he's a tenor as opposed to kenneth McKellar, who wanted 15 quits <laughs> will you please welcome our very own peter morrison <laughs>
Apar gunins are put in love on me As step I we macrobat to the arms The blue islands are putting me away Their laughter puts the leaf upon the lame The blue islands from the steady's tables We have our honey taste upon each name Sure of I without our next act. It might be better without them, but it wouldn't be complete. Now, I have been a fan of theirs for many years, and my father before me, and his father before him. And tonight they're doing their famous impersonation of Billy Conley and Robbie Coltrane. <laughs> Will you welcome, please, the Alexander Brothers! Everybody's happy, everybody's there, and we're all happy and merry, each one has cheer. Tune in the wee room underneath the stair. When you're feeling low down, don't know what to do. Don't give way to sorrow, I'll tell you what to do. Tap the bus to strip up, find the prince is there. He's the man that keeps the wee room underneath the stair. We're all happy and merry, each one here is cheer. Doom in the wee room, underneath the stair. A king he went a hunting, his fortune found his seat. He missed the bus in Glasgow and was missing for a week. And after days of searching, oh sorrow and despair, they found him in the wee room, underneath the stair. Doom in the wee room, underneath the stair. Everybody's happy, everybody's there, and we're all back in merry, each one in his chair. Oh, yeah. Doing in the wee room, underneath the stair. Like the other fogies get For I'm saving all my pennies Keep by a hardly chair Keep wheel me to my wee room Underneath the stair Doing in the wee room Underneath the stair Everybody's happy Everybody's there And we're all making merry Each one in his chair Doing in the wee room Underneath I'm sure you all know I'm a wanderer today To the hills To watch the sea below And I 
and the creaking old mill it is still where we used to long long ago and the green grove is gone from the hills Maggie Corpus the day Since you and I were young Now they say you were rigid and grey Maggie and your steps are less brightly than then And your face, and your face well, it's a real well written piece, Maggie. But I'm all alone was the pen. And they say you were aged and great. Just free by the wine breakers flow. Oh, but to me, you're a spare. song since you want Oh, I think you can do better than that, we'll try again since you on singing sensation and Maggie thank you Sydney a happy new year to one and all in 1986 Lang Bay and Lumbreak and I shall leave you now to close our program with the king of the Chukters Jimmy McJimmy see you Jimmy <laughs> Voices. See you. That's about you. See you. See you. See you. Yeah, it gets me like that. See you. See you. Oh. Do you know the words? Sing along. See you. See you. See you. Russ Abbott is currently appearing at the Playhouse Edinburgh and Lena Zavaroni at the Wimbledon Theatre, London. See you. See you.